Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. Now today I want to show you all how I make my edges swim like this. My hair is very kinky, obviously, so I'm showing y'all how I get my edges to lay and slay. Now this is supposed to be impossible for people with hair as kinky as our own, but I'm letting y'all know today that you can do anything if you set your mind to it. <laughs> now I'm not sure if you can hear that hum in the background, but please excuse my generator. I'm in Nigeria and this is just the struggle we have to struggle in this kind of place. Before we get into the video, if you all want to see more of me, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Twitter, of course, is awesome if you want to talk to me, see what I have to say, interact with me one on one. And Instagram is fantastic if you want to follow my life and photography journey. I have two Instagrams, epiczara and epiczara.art. Now, of course, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know you enjoy this type of content. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling my hair. If you are, do you like to slay your edges or not? Let me know and tell me why. Be sure to also share this video with your friends and your loved ones. And last but never ever least, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Now we're going to take a moment to listen to the generator while you ladies, gentlemen, and others subscribe to my channel. Okay, so you should be subscribed. Let's get right into this video. So y'all, I'm going to try and talk to you and do my edges at the same time. Now this video is a lot less organized than my videos normally are and that's because I want to do my edges and show you all how I slay my type 4 edges. Now a bit of a disclaimer because I know that some of you all will come for me. I don't do my edges all the time, nor do I feel it's necessary to do edges all the time. I just like to have my edges done from time to time. Like I actually did my edges the other day when I wore a top bun and I was not feeling it. So it's not every time edges, sometimes just like nice slicked back or rough edges most of the time actually rough edges what can i say i just don't like to stress myself yeah this is a really great method for anyone who wants to slay their edges um but it's forcey and is struggling so let's get right into this now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my shea moisture low porosity protein free leave in the tangler this leave-in has actually like changed my life this coupled with my grease has actually helped me to retain an absurd amount of length I'm seriously in love with this product and my hair is quite moisturized. My edges are really, really soft right now. Normally, if I don't moisturize my hair, they're like really crusty and super dry, but they're really soft right now because I've been doing well with moisturizing them. Now, when they aren't this soft, I'll apply a little bit of water before doing this, but I don't need to because again, they're like really soft right now. The major point is I'm just using a bit to protect my edges from all the gel and the manipulation. Now my baby widow's peak, it's not really like a serious widow's peak. I need a little more, it feels dry right there. Now this is also going to help my hair to stay in place a bit better. So y'all, I decided to move my mic a little far away. Um, hopefully the audio is still good. I'm not sure how much it's rubbing against my shirt. And obviously I'm going to be moving around a lot, so I don't want that to become obnoxious. So let's hope that goes well. Sorry, I know I keep looking down because I'm looking at my mirror. This is basically how I'm gonna make sure this is coming out just right for y'all. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Next step is my gel. And I'm going to use the yellow Gorilla Snot Gel. Now I love this gel so much. It's actually one of my favorite products and it's a super strong hold, but it doesn't make my hair feel nasty. Now, personally, I will never endorse Echo Styler, Eco Styler. I think it's Eco Styler. I'll never endorse that gel because it makes my hair extremely crusty. Now, most of the Eco Styler gels have a lot of protein and obviously for a low po natural such as myself it's just not popping so i'm not ready to stress myself and have my hair be breaking off per second per second because i want to do experiment with everybody's favorite gel nasa this is the only gel i use in my hair comfortably and very frequently if i add any other gels to that list i'll let you know but i doubt it will so i'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand like so can you guys see that and i'm gonna start as small as possible so I just want to get out some of this leave-in. I was a little bit heavy-handed. I'm just going to now take this off my hand. It's really gummy, it's literally like snot. So the first step is to dab it into my hairline. And because it's so gummy, sometimes I accidentally apply too much. But I'm just going to put that in there. 
generously, but not too generously. Now, I gotta work quickly before this dries. I'm gonna take my little edge toothbrush. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of got to be. And now I'm going to work on my edges. So as you can see, this stuff is actually like pretty, pretty quick to dry. So I start from the top and I work my way, work my way down, trying not to grab other parts of my edges that I don't want to grab and making sure I've grabbed all parts necessary. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of this again. So this is just the preliminary round. I'm not getting it as perfect as I can right now because I know I have to go back in. So you wanna just take your time because for type four naturals, this is already kind of an ordeal. So I'm gonna just uh, spray a little bit on there of the got to be to help make this slightly more malleable. And then I'm going to spray this side just to set it while I work on the rest of my edges. So as you can see, that was pretty quick. And I might still go back in to perfect that. But wow, my face is turning red because my, my skin is really sensitive, guys. I really don't know what to say aside from that. My skin is just very sensitive. So any little like thing, it gets a bit irritated. If your edges are trying to lift and play you, you might consider also putting a little bit more snot on there. I'm gonna add more of this knot to my hand because I'm almost out. I'm gonna try and take a little less this time so that it doesn't move around as much. I'm just gonna apply it to like the top part of my hair. And now I'm going to work quickly. Again, spray, spray, spray. Gonna work very quickly, but still take my time. So I'm making sure I'm holding my hair so that I'm not getting like adult hairs that wish they were edges, because that's usually really annoying and much more challenging to lay. So actually, let me... If you feel like the hairs you're getting are too long, you might just brush everything back into your hair and then pull out the smaller hairs. So that's what I do often. And that trick has actually helped me lay my edges a lot better because those smaller hairs are actually much finer. And if you have 4C or other type 4 hair, like 4B, like really just kinky hair, you don't want to use long hairs to lay your edges they will probably kink up. So now I need more gel. And because I don't really like to stress myself, I don't do too much as far as my edges are concerned. I don't make like any like really sexy patterns <laughs> because I really can't come and kill myself, y'all. So I'm gonna try and see if I can make a bit of a sideburn. Cause I love that look. Oh, but that's a little too long, snap. So let me just take that back and then grab all the fine hairs much better. So now I'm gonna quickly spray, spray, spray so that they don't move. So I don't always get it as like perfect as I want to. Like I think I messed up this one right here. So let me just try and fix it. I need more snot actually, like quite a bit more. So that happens sometimes. Sometimes maybe you'll mess up and you have to Give a bit more attention to one particular part of your edges. And now I'm gonna spray my whole head. I've already put gel all over my hair. I'm gonna take the rest of this knot, put it on my hair. And now this is where we have to work kind of quickly and put a scarf on so that our edges will not move anywhere. Now try not to use too much hairspray. I know that was a pretty generous amount, or it looks like a generous amount, but it's actually not like a whole, whole lot. Now we're at the most important part putting on our scarf so that everything stays. So now, I'm going to just quickly put my scarf on, concentrating on my edges, but I'm going to be very gentle and make sure I'm getting my whole hair. Actually, I'll probably put it over my ears. Yeah, and it's gonna be pretty tight, y'all. I'm gonna leave this on for like a good 30 minutes while I do my makeup. <sighs> Here we go. Okay y'all, so let me go do my makeup and we'll come back with the finished product. 
So y'all, here we are at the completed look, the big reveal, da da da! And yes, as you can see, my edges are swimming. Sis, bro, everyone in between. Y'all, my edges are slay mama in all over the internet. Like, I'm actually shook. <laughs> So as you all can see, this is the final result. This is what my edges are looking like. Now, I really love this method because it allows me to get that sleek edge look without having to relax my edges or anything like that. Now, I personally don't knock anyone who's about that life. I just don't see it as something I would do for myself. Now, I also know there are a lot of people who don't like to do anything to their edges and that's totally fine. If you don't want to do anything to your edges, you don't have to knock anybody who does want to do something to their edges. Now I straddle pretty much all the different lines. I like to do my edges. Sometimes I leave them bushy and free. Other times I just like slick them back so that they're a part of my whole head of hair as opposed to some standalone thing. Now thank you all for watching. You know I love and appreciate you. I'm so sorry for this generator. I might end up doing a voiceover, but if not, you're going to see me talking right here, depending on how loud this thing is. But anyway, that short digression aside, thank you once again. I love you all. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. I worked really hard on my edges. And most importantly, please subscribe and especially turn on your notifications when you guys watch my videos and interact with me, talk to me. It motivates me to make more videos. So with that being said, actually comment down below. Let me know how your hair is doing. Let me know how your day is going. Talk to me about anything. I enjoy talking to you all. And again, it's really encouraging when I'm able to form a connection with you. Yes, you. So deuces again, I'll see you in my next video. God bless all of you and thank you so much.